Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work, but uh, here goes. So it's Saturday, May 12th, and I just wanted to bring you a quick update. Uh, first of all, in case you don't know, tomorrow's Mother's Day, and I love my mother, so happy Mother's Day. Uh, I'm here on top of YWAM, and I just wanted to bring you YWAM Battenbong, and I just wanted to bring you a quick update of some awesome things that were happening. Thought a video update might be a little more exciting. Uh, my friend Shetel from Norway and myself were coming back from doing some evangelism in a small town, and we saw two guys in wheelchairs. They were actually at a spinal re rehabilitation clinic. We stopped and talked to them and prayed with them. They couldn't really understand us and we really couldn't understand them so we got a translator and came back. Uh, we started praying for David and Da. Da could not move his feet at all. Uh, we started praying for him and he said he felt a little tickle in his leg. So we're like, okay. We started praying for his leg and tickling his feet and his toes started moving. So we're like, yes! And we started praying more and uh, then he was able to pick up his feet so we was like oh this is awesome and then we're like hey you want to try to stand up we know you're being healed so let's do it uh, and he was actually able to walk we still supported most of his weight but he was able to take steps and walk and I say that's a healing from God because he wasn't able to move his feet at all before we prayed for him uh, and that that was da. Uh, David, uh, we prayed for him and he said, oh, I can walk like five steps before I get too weak and I can't walk anymore. Uh, we prayed for him and he was able to take like 70 steps, like all over the place before he even got tired. So God is healing him as well. Um, they actually came to a gathering we were having that night and they, they both got saved. Uh, later on today, uh, we're going to go and continue talking to them and give them some Bibles. So just wanted to bring that quick testimony and hopefully you'll be able to see it and it won't just be on my iPad. So blessings upon you, fire on the Holy Spirit, God still heals and He's healing now and forevermore. So He's not going to heal unless you pray for healing. So do it in Jesus name.